Shirley Williams, I am your health, wellness, and fantasy accountability coach, and I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. And one way I do that is with the awesome free workouts from home. So today we are going to be stretching, but before you, before we do, you know what time it is. It is time to get excited about today's workout. Yep, yep. So today. I had a special request for stretching for our plantar fasciitis. I think I, I said it right. I had to practice that right. So I had a special request for that. So we are going to be doing some stretching for that today. We'll focus more on that. So here's the things you're going to need for that. We are going to need a belt. So go grab you a belt. I'm going to use a dog leash. Use it. We're going to use a belt. We're going to um, have to use our chair. You're going to need something to roll your foot on, right? So I'm going to use this roller um you can use i got even something better a can yeah this is a can lights off but you can use a can you can use <clears throat> any kind of can you have in your house um if you happen to have frozen water bottles you can use that which would be really really good um so you need something hard to roll your foot on all right So we're going to do 10 minutes of stretching. I'm going to also be stretching my Achilles tendon because I need that. We'll see how much time we have. 10 minutes. We're just going to jump in and get started. So let's sit on the floor first. Hope you guys had enough time to go grab a, at least a belt. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do these stretches for 30 seconds each. So you take your belt, place it at the top of your foot toes back and you're going to pull with the belt, right? Pull it back, right? Let your toes go back and we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Wait, let me get my foot. You can do it with your shoe on or shoe off. Let's go. Pull, keeping your heel down, right? Pull back towards you. Now again, this is great for people who have plantar fasciitis. <laughs> Right, so you're probably gonna feel this. Now, if you don't, you're probably not gonna feel this. But if you don't have it, what you can do is pull your body forward and feel that stretch in your calf and back of leg. All right, let's switch legs, switch feet. 30 seconds, and let's go. Let's get comfortable in there and pull your toes back. All right, toes go back and you pull your foot back. Now again, just come on down, pull yourself down. If you don't feel this sitting up because you don't have plantar fa fasciitis, then, right, so it's it's basically your heel, you'll feel the muscle in your heel uh, pull, but switch. And then, I'm gonna do this three times each side. Um, if you don't feel that, just Pull your toes back and then you just lean down and go forward. You'll definitely feel that stretch in the back of your leg, right? Back of your um, calf muscles. So you just pull yourself, pull those toes back. Let's get ready to switch and switch and pull again. Now this is great now. Some people get um, plantar fasciitis from running. Um, you can get it from walking. It's, you know, kind of basically that kind of injury. Pull back. Lean forward if you don't have that injury, right? If you have that injury, you're just going to sit up and pull and you should feel that stretch in your heel. Now this stretch is also great. Switch just when we're stretching. You know, sometimes we do stretches and we don't feel them, but it still stretches the muscles out. Okay, so stretching, heel, let's go. Pull, keeping your heel, keep your legs down, keep your knee down. And you can lean forward in it, toes back. Y'all, I'm getting hot. <laughs> All right, 
and we're going to get ready to switch and it's going to be our last time. So these are exercises you can do on your own, right? Your own stretches. Pull those toes back, which help to stretch out the calf muscles. Pull, pull, pull. Now this is going to go back. I see this stretching is going to go back fast already. Next up, we're going to uh, basically massage the bottom of our feet. And we got time. All right, three times, right? Next is we're gonna massage the bottom of our feet. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the bottom of our foot, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna start here at the bottom and basically pull, push and pull up, right? Push and massage up your foot. Push and out. Push and out. And just push up, go up your foot, and then go out. Now we're gonna go down, we're gonna take our hand and just pull it out. Like come in and pull out. In and pull out. Push in and pull out. In and pull out. Okay, so this massages your foot, loosening up those muscles, right? That plantar fasciitis in your foot. Right? And we go all the way down to our heel. And we go up, up and out. Up and out. Push hard and go out. Now my hand is getting cramped, right? <laughs> and out. Now this is just good. Like sometimes I get cramps on the bottom of my feet. Oh my gosh. So let's massage the bottom of our foot. Up and out. All the way to the top. And now we're going to go start at the top and just push in and go out. In and out. Push in, pull out. Right, massaging that foot, loosening up those muscles. Push in and out, in, out. Then we're gonna switch and do the other foot. In, out, in, out. All the way down to the bottom. In, out, in and out. Let's switch. Okay, so. I like to be able to see the timer. So we're going to start here at the bottom again with this foot. All right, so go up and out. Up and out. Up. So Dion requested this. She asked if I could do these kind of exercises today to be stretching. All right, again, this is a very, it's a common injury to those that run. And you can get it in other ways also. All right, now we get to the top and at the top, we push in and pull out to the side. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Right, so basically you're massaging your foot. All the way down to your heel. Let's go up one more time. Up and out. Up and out. Now, one of the best exercises we can do is the one I'm going to do next. I'm trying to make sure I don't run out of time. And out. Now, my fingers are push in, go down, in, down. And down. I'm gonna grab the chair next. I'm gonna grab my foam roller. Keep going. Going. Again, these are exercises you can do on your own. All right. Grab your chair. This is really good when you first get out of bed, especially if you have this injury. You're gonna take your foam roller, ice, something hard. And basically you're gonna go from heel to toe, right? So we got our 
we're gonna go toe to heel. We're gonna press down and come all the way out and come in to the toes. Press down and go out. So pressing also helps to loosen up that fasciitis. Fasciitis, right. So you want to roll, pressing down. Now my hands have cramps in them from <laughs> massaging my feet. Roll out, come in. I'm gonna switch here. Going out and coming in. Again, like you may not feel this because you don't have that, that type of in injury, but it's still a good thing to do. All right, it's still good to do. I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, it's still a good stretch. Let me move this part closer. A little too close. Mm -hmm. There we go. And you roll. Just roll on through. Okay. It's basically toe to heel or heel to toe at our time. And of course, if you have the injury, you'll probably do one side longer than the other. But you want to press down and roll and come back. Press down and roll. We're gonna get ready to do our three minute meditation. Told you that time was gonna go by fast today. Let's switch. There we go. And so you guys know what to do for meditation. We're gonna get ready to get started. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Move my chair. Okay. Breathing in and out, deeply praying thinking on positive things, thinking on positive outcomes. What do you want to do? How do you get it done and see yourself doing it?
that is it, everyone. So, hope you enjoyed that awesome stretch. Hope you got a chance to really get down deep and meditate. Um, a calming state. So you guys, make sure you check out the links to the post or description box. Visit my website. My shirt is all crazy. Visit my website, www.lbxfitness.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, LBX Fitness Workouts. Also, don't forget next month, we're going to be doing calves and butt. You can start signing up. But let's see. I think next week, I'll show you guys how to do the exercises. Everyone have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Keep pushing on. Things are going to